my name is Evgenia and you're watching the permanent rain press. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Russian, it's difficult for me. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Chloe with the Permanent Rain Press and today I'm so happy to be joined by Evgenia Medvedeva. Hello, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So we're in Vancouver, the final date of the Stars on Ice tour. How has this experience been for you? Uh, that was really like incredible uh, experience for me and I've got really a lot of friends and uh, I'm just honored to be here and um, I'm so sorry, I feel really so so sorry that um, this show is like uh, going to the end, but I'm excited about the upcoming season and I'm excited about the work that I will do in Toronto and yeah, I hope to be back next year here and yeah, I really love it. Well, I know Canada loved having you. You have a lot of Canadian fans. If you had to pick a favorite moment, like I know you've met a lot of them at meet and greets after the shows. What have people been you know, saying to you? Uh, a lot of Canadian fans are really polite and I like the way they're talking to me. Uh, they're not touching, they're not, uh, not crossing the line. And that's so cool because I can talk to them like... Um, like a regular person and I feel so comfy when I talk to them and I think meet, meet and greet is actually like uh, big moments and after every show and yeah I just love it. <laughs> awesome well we'd love to have you back hopefully for next year's tour as well so yeah, speaking of Canada you do train in Toronto with Brian Orser and Tracy Wilson you've said that they have allowed you to craft your programs with more freedom so yeah, what true. does like a training session look like is it a lot of ideas being shared? Uh, now I can say that um, I think all of us and Brian and Tracy and me are really enjoying um, process of uh, training and um, we yeah we are working a lot but at the same time we are just trying to have fun and uh, sometimes in that fun um, always creating something new something special and uh, I just love to spend the time in a cricket club so yeah we've got a lot of ideas for upcoming season and yeah uh, so Cricket Club, as you mentioned, the Cricket Club team, I love your relationship with them. Jason Brown, uh, Gabby Daleman, Jinwa Cha, do you spend a lot of time together outside of the rink? I can't say so because uh, all of us uh, really have a lot of our own business after practices because um, figure skating is not only ice practices, we've got a lot of off-ice training, we've got a physio, recovering, massage. Like, yeah, um, I have a lot of sauna and <laughs> something like this. And we spend a lot of time off ice working on ourselves. And yeah. But when we've got some free time, if we are not so tired, I can invite Jason uh, for dinner in our apartments. And like, yeah, we're just spending some time, so, some time together. That's nice. And you meant, um, when you do get together at banquets and stuff, I know that that's when you all get to you know take photos and really catch up. Um, so let's talk about having that support system. As you mentioned, taking time for yourself is so important. This past season, you went through a journey really gaining your confidence back. And I think as a figure skating fan, it was so wonderful to see that progress. You won bronze at Worlds, but just the incredible mental and physical strength that you have. Do you have any advice for athletes going through something similar, you know, dealing with some self-doubt and perhaps criticism from others? Um, I just realized that the main thing that I told to myself when I went through all the difficult stuff that I had the um, past season, um, I just told myself that you can do much more than you think. Even if you think that you are ready to give up, so no, <laughs> trust me, no. If you think that now is the most difficult time, no, it's going to be much harder in the future. So <laughs> just don't give up and go forward. So you will handle it. 
That's great. And you've you guys yeah, just got no choice. <laughs> That's a great kind of mindset to have. And you also mentioned like skating really is the body and the mind. So being able to find that balance. Next season, a goal for you, you mentioned quad jumps, yeah. um, potentially quad sal. This is quad... my main goal for next season. When did you decide, you know, this is an element I really wanted to go for in competition? About three years ago. <laughs> it really was a long time ago. Awesome. Well, um, best of luck with that, I'm assuming. So you've been working on it already. So yeah. looking forward to its debut this upcoming season. Um, let's talk about Nike, one yeah. of your sponsors, their motto, just do it, which is, I think, what you live by as well. What's your favorite part about working with them? Motivation. And uh, I watched just today the video really, like, uh, it's it's so difficult for me to talk in English. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, in a video, told a uh, woman told that uh, they call us crazy, like athletes. If uh, you come back from injury, if you're trying to do something special, if you um, like winning, and if you're always um, always best. Uh, it means that something wrong with you. No, we're just working a lot. And if you're losing, if you're doing mistakes, it means that like you're just giving up and you're nobody. And it's like, ugh. And they call us crazy, but it's okay. It's okay. And um, I love um, the press. Like uh, let us let them show uh, what crazy is can do. So, and um, Nike uh, for me is uh, not only clothes, Nike for me a real motivation. That's amazing and I think you inspire a lot of people as well being a part um, with them. They have so many strong female athletes on their roster. Let's talk about music briefly. I know you love K-pop. Who are some other artists or songs we can find on your playlist? Really a lot. <laughs> but the main, of course, EXO. I'm a fan of them uh, about a few years ago already uh, but now I'm like I'm listening and uh, Billie Eilish I'm listening Ed Sheeran like a lot of pop music uh, so I always been listening to different kind of music awesome and our signature question if you could be any ice cream flavor which would you be and why bubblegum bubblegum because mm, um, when when I'm in a good mood, I really have so good flavor. But when I'm losing the flavor, I'm not so good. <laughs> That's a great answer. Thank you so much, Evgeny, for taking Thank the you. time to chat. Really appreciate it. And thanks to all those watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>